Hi, Colleen from Keeping the Peace here, and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. We're back in the down bar of episode 12 in the same series. We have another question from A. Mac Ectoman. I've already filmed two of his questions. He asks great questions. I think these would be helpful for a lot of other people, so I will link you here to the last one. And uh, today he says, what do you recommend to cease flinching? Although I know that there must be an explosion for the weapon to function properly, I tell myself and that repeatedly when I pull the trigger, not allowed of course, I suspect that my poor target groups are primarily the result of flinching. What have others done to mitigate the problem? Frankly, I've thought about trying hypnotism. Lastly, can using extra noise abatement like double earplugs perhaps make a difference? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Do it. Using double ear protection can be very helpful, especially if you're shooting at an indoor range or using a gun that happens to be very loud. Um, flinching is something that's different for each person because different people have a different level of sensitivity to noise. And also your flinching can be a reaction to the feel of the gun going off in your hand. So first thing I recommend definitely is double ear protection and a high quality set of muffs on the outside. Um, if you're shooting indoors, it might be better to shoot at times of the day when it's not extremely busy or shoot outdoors if you have access to that. I don't here, um, but a lot of people do, so that can be helpful. Um, another thing that helps with flinching, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but think about something other than that the gun is getting ready to go off. If I have a student that's really, really suffering with flinching and they're having a really hard time kicking it, I'll teach trigger control first. So you're teaching a slow continuous motion toward the rear and then a controlled release until reset followed by another press without letting go of the trigger, keeping contact with the trigger. I'll also teach focus on the front sight, not on the rear, not on the target, focus on the front sight. Once those things are pretty ingrained mentally, you can do those things without necessarily thinking about the gun going off. So what I'll do is I'll say finger always in contact with the trigger eyes on the front sight while this person is doing it, okay? And then I'll say, slow continuous press to the rear and I want you to talk to me about something that's relaxing to you. Pick something, anything. A day at the beach, what you're going to do with your wife when you get home. Um, uh, what you like to do with your children after work. Um, anything, anything that's relaxing and fun and pleasant. You can totally talk about something while you're going through the motions of pressing the trigger and what that does is it forces your brain to focus on something else while your body shoots the gun if that makes any sense at all and you'll be surprised if you're sitting there going ah, ah, here it comes here it comes ah, ah, you know in your mind even if that's not verbal you're building and building and building up the angst about that fire about the gun firing and the more you let it build up the worse your flinch is going to be so what you're doing is distracting yourself from what's about to happen while still allowing your body to focus on trigger finger and keeping your eyes on the sights. So I hope that helps you. A lot of people suffer with flinching, don't feel like you're alone. It's very, very, very common because naturally we have an aversion to loud noises. It's just natural. And depending on where you're shooting, the noise may be even louder. Um, and you may be a person with a more severe aversion to the noise than others. We're all different. So I hope that helps you. Great questions and keep on coming. Thanks. God bless.